Hi folks. Yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of repeats right now. The reason is sometimes it doesn't come out the way I want it. Now, I'm making breaded pork chops. Grease your pan. Dip it into the egg. Now, we're going to bread it on both sides. You have to remember to do it on both sides. Dip it into the egg, around, into the, make sure at all times you use Italian breadcrumbs. Now, when it's about halfway done, you turn it over. You don't want, you want it to look very crisp because a lot of times it, it did not come out the way we want it to come out. Okay. Oops. Let me get rid of this. Yeah, my daughter had an accidental report today, Oni. She had two little cavities that we taken care of on Monday. Very important to go to the dentist every six months, folks. Very important. All right. Dip this, dip this, dip this. Make sure you butter, you grease your pan. Because you don't want something to stick and it doesn't come out the way you want it. Okay. Now, the next thing I want to do is, sprinkle, like I said, we're going to be doing repeats. The reason we're doing repeats is you want to make sure it comes out perfect. We're going to dazzle it with a lot of Italian breadcrumbs. Pop this in the oven and cook this for about um, a good 45 minutes. We have delicious Italian breaded pork. I told you we're going to do some repeats. But I wanted to come out absolutely perfect. Now I'm going to add a little bit of garlic on here. A little bit of garlic kind of really gives a good flavor. Mashed potatoes. Perfect. Look how beautiful that came out. And some white cream corn. I always recommend soap cream corn with Italian breaded pork chops. And here we have Italian breaded pork chops from Double H. I'm Country Kitchen. I'm a great time to subscribe to my wonderful YouTube channel.